So I have a quick unboxing of a bag that I got as an early birthday gift from my mom and dad. Um, and then her gifts or her items that she purchased at the Louis store also. And she bought these when she, she just came back from Vietnam. So they take a flight from here to Korea to Vietnam. So she bought them on the way back. So from Vietnam to Korea on her layover, which was five hours. And they have a Louis store in that airport that she was at. So she bought them there. And so the conversion price and there's no tax because it's duty free, um, made it out to be a lot cheaper for us. I think it was like, um, a couple hundred cheaper, maybe like 200 cheaper. Let me do the math real quick. Yeah, 131 dollars cheaper. So um, for the bag, for this only, not including these other two items. So here's my unboxing of these Louis items for you. So the first one just comes in the clothes box like this. And here it is in the dust bag. Um, you might be able to guess by looking at the size of it. It's kind of love. So here it is. It is the Zamir E. Bean with the red interior. Um, favorite M M. So I still have it, the the actual chain in here. Um, let me pull it out actually. And I'm not gonna be taking the little blue thing off right now. Um. So just bear with it. But it does have the chain on top. And then it has Louis Vuitton here and here. And then Louis Vuitton here and here. And then when you pull it up, it has it here and here. Obviously the little um, box right here with the treated uh, the shadow right there. On this side's the same thing. On the back, there are two posts also here from the pocket. And then in the inside, it comes with a textile card. And in the inside, it does have Made in France. So yeah, let's see if I can find the date code. I think it's right here. It's hard to look at. It is, I think it's VO4175. So it's made in the 47th week of 2015. And obviously it's made in France because we already established that. So here's the bag. Obviously it does come with the strap and it has the lobster claw on one side and then it has the pull through on the other side. So here it is. Here is the favorite MM. And I had a feeling that she was going to be buying this because she asked me to send her pictures of the Louis Vuittons that she would like. So obviously I included the one that I wanted, um, you know, because I had a hunch and I got it. So it's super exciting. And then the other two items are also really exciting too. Um, these are going to be added to her collection. I mean, we do share, um, like she borrowed mine, never full, not a big deal. Um, she doesn't like the Speedy. I have a Speedy 35. Okay, sorry about that. I got a phone call. Um, so the next two items are in, the first one um, is in a drawer, like this, a draw drawer. As you can tell, it's probably, that's right, a wallet. Um, and this is, we really like the Domier E. Bean print because we like that there's no Vachetta, so, um, and we like to kind of match most things. So she got the Josephine wallet. I like the Josephine wallet because I like the V, 
Um, I have the Emily wallet and my mom also has a, uh, what else does she have? She has an Emily, I, she has an Emily wallet. No, I have an Emily wallet. She has now the Josephine wallet and a zippy wallet, a zippy coin purse and that's it. Yeah, I do want a, the classic zippy compact, um, not the new version. So I am going to try to hunt that down before they completely discontinue it because you can barely find it on the website. Um, so I am going to try to hunt that down though. So this purse wallet um, comes with, four. so the Emily wallet is almost exactly the same except this part isn't detachable. Um, and the reason why I liked the Emily versus this Josephine one was because I like the privacy of my wallets. If I'm trying to open it, I don't have to like open everything. It's just right here. Four card slips in the front, a zipper pocket, um, a compartment in the middle, and then another long compartment in the back. Not super long like this one, but you know, long also. So this one has four compartments here, a long compartment here. Um, another long compartment here, which is actually where this, um, this is where your coins would go. And this, uh, this wallet is made in Spain. So this would go in here like this. And then you have a long wallet compartment all the way in the back that goes all the way down. I O one three six so it's made in the third week of um 2016 so in january so this is a really new wallet yeah so one thing about this is if you get this replaced and out of this this might say spain and this might say um, USA or France or Italy. Um, so you know, obviously, it's something you have to watch out for when you're when you're doing a repair on a wallet like this. And I learned that from Minx for all. Um, so she is all about the Josephine wallets. And then this one, I think, was like twenty dollars cheaper. The, this is $50 cheaper. It was priced at $915 US and obviously no tax. And I can't remember what the receipt said on this one. I think it was four, because I think they're normally $480. I think she paid $450. So maybe $30 cheaper. Something like that. Um. I want to say it was 430 that she paid instead of 480 or 450. I think it's 4 430 440. I don't remember. For something. Um but it was definitely cheaper. So that's her wallet. And the last thing that she purchased is in here another drawstring um, box as you can tell is the six key ring holder so here it is also a Madamiara e Bean print um it has the pocket in the back right here still and it has, it's the six rings here And this one I know is back here. And this one is made in France also. So the only the wallet was made in Spain. Date code says I'm trying to get like CT0116. So this was made in the first week of 2016. So right here. It's the Dominic E Bean. So pretty. And I actually had purchased this exact item when I went to Vegas and I purchased my wallet. But I went to the, I think it was the South Premier Outlets and that had a Kate Spade in it. And I found a four key Kate Spade 
um, key holder. I have two of them. So this is the one I'm currently using right now. It's a ballerina pink color. Here, it has the Kate Spade in the front. I'm gonna focus. And then it opens up, even though it's four, it is um, similar size to the six. So this one feels thinner because it's like a little puffier and obviously this is not keys in it. But here are my keys. I obviously have my car key here and it has a compartment here and a compartment here and then a back compartment here. So mostly if I do carry key uh, cards, I put it in this back compartment. Let me grab a card for you to show you. Digging in my purse. So I'm using this Kate Spade card holder. Let's grab something like that. Doesn't matter. Okay. So here's my insurance card, which is the same size as a biz a credit card or a debit card. I slide it back here like that. I always flip my keys over and then I close it up and it works just fine. You can put them on the side pockets here too, um, but you can feel the difference. So I'm going to put it where the button is. This is on the side with the button. Keys back. Like it feels a little stiffer. This one, when we put it on the side with the button, it's not as bad. When you put it on the side with the clasp and close it up, it feels a little stiffer because it does kind of pop up like that instead of laying a little more flat. So that's why I don't like to put it on that side. I don't mind putting it on the side with the clasp at all or in the back pocket. Um, it feels just like normal. Uh, let me do that back again and show you. Like, it's a little harder to close because it wants to more close upon itself, um, but it's not that bad. So here it is. And here is the six ring. And I'll do a full comparison video of these two items. This is $250. This was $30, $40 tops. 30 or 40 dollars i got it in july so i don't remember but it was 30 to 40 dollars um and i got in the pink color and then i have a backup um in black so in the same leather it's like Safiano leather too uh so yeah i'll do a full comparison of these two items later on in a video but this is my mom's like i said i really love it but i end up returning it because it was 250 I could have just spent the extra, you know, 200 and bought two of these still and still made it out good. So that's what I ended up doing. I returned to this and I bought the wallet instead. And I just found it more practical at the time for me because I didn't have a Louis Vuitton wallet. I mean, I only have one Louis Vuitton wallet, but I didn't have one. And I just really felt like it would more top off my collection than this would. This is more of a luxury and I mean they're all luxury goods though but it's more of a want rather than I needed a wallet that would look nice in my bags too. Um, so that's why I ended up returning it. But I want the zippy compact because I am going to be carrying um, like you know my never full, not my never full but my uh, favorite MM and my mom has a Eva clutch and then I do have a pochette, um, not accessoire, because that's new. I think it is an accessoire. No, a pochette. But I have this one. And it's the older model, so it's a little smaller. I do like the fact that the handle's smaller because. I can wear it more like a wristlet if I want to. And I put a crossbody strap from one of my old Junior Burks bags on it and it looks, you know, it looks decent and doesn't look terrible. I do eventually want to buy a Louis Vuitton strap for this one, but um, you know, 
I need a smaller wallet. My full size wallet is not gonna fit in here and it's more the compact size. It's the um, Emily wallet. It's not even the Zippy or the Zippy organizer. So I do wanna buy the Zippy compact for that purpose. But yeah, that's totally on a separate rant. But thanks so much for watching this video. Thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.